G'day, welcome to Market Sam After Work. Today I've got another one of these um, one question at a time. Um, and this one is about um, moving targets or moving targets at extreme long range. Um, I get this question quite a bit. Um, basically you see a two mile shot and say, well, why didn't you do it when I was moving? Or um, in general, any of the, the extreme long range stuff and why, why don't you do it when I was moving? Um, uh, listen, the, the simple truth of this is that, and this is a little bit of the Hollywood and games and things like that, that is um, made it to where the keyboard warriors or the people that, that um, I suppose the, learn, the world's learning stuff that isn't real. Um, the likes of a moving shot, yes, it is all conceivable to do the maths, do the holdover in various forms to allow for a constant movement and get to the same place as a still target. That's not very complicated hitting a target at two miles is extremely complicated don't get me wrong but if you can definitely hit the center of that target or hit that small target at two miles with any with, in a definite fashion that's another whole conversation but if you can hit it with a definite fashion then hitting it when it's moving is simply a calculation on that moving but here's the thing that is because you know exactly where that target's going to be. You know that where that's going to move to. That's a constant movement or it's a set place that that target is going to stop. So if it's moving, which is shoot a moving target, then you know exactly where it's going to move to. It's not going to change its mind. The whole deal with long range shooting and particularly extreme long range shooting and even worse so with ultra long range shooting is that you're shooting into the future. So if you've got a set little scenario in your games or in Hollywood where there's a train or there's a tank or there's something that's doing something in a straight line or a set curve or whatever it is, then that's not very complicated. Of course, that's not real life. That's not reality. Of all the scenarios that are put forward, you have to understand that both the gaming world and the Hollywood world are making things that are conceivable to make it so that it can, it be, it can be done. It's part of... Um, building the rush, building the process that they're trying to create for you, the viewer. The real world, in, in the way of anything that really matters, be that hunting or be that tactical, whatever it is, in a, in a mission situation or in a hunting situation, then you are not able to take the risk. You cannot go to where something might be. Uh, and that moves into a vehicle potentially a yeah, sort of a train situation. I suppose that's conceivable, largely. No, these scenarios aren't real whatsoever. But in something that can't really change its motion, then you can work out it's going to be. But even a big heavy vehicle can still veer because it's not there yet. Certain anything, walking, moving, animal or otherwise, then there is too much. The moment you've got more than a second, let alone three seconds or five seconds or 10 seconds, you're going into the future. So unless you have out of those games, the crystal ball or forward memory or something or other to be able to go forward and see where things are going to be, then no, it's not conceivable. The real answer to your thing is that's fantasy. You're in the world of fantasy. It's not real. It's not what things actually do. The only way that a forward target can or something that can be um, move to that area and the only way that even the real sniper world in the real um, tactical operator world is they may shoot at a designated spot where they think something's going to be but that is still taking a risk which is a very unlikely scenario unless it's off into where you really have random fire and there is a little bit of that sort of stuff happening in this world where some stuff is a little bit more play, even though it's so serious as it's, as, it's, um, as it's warfare, there is a little bit of tinkering around that happens like that. Yeah, that's not for me to judge either way. In any real sense, in it, when it has to happen, when it is a real thing, in a hunting thing or a tactical thing or a, or a competition thing, it has to happen, then moving target in a, anything in the way of what's considered proper long range or going into extreme long range is not conceivable and not something that would happen or can happen if it really matters. Anyway, sorry to burst the bubbles there, but the shoot on a moving target to two miles, just fantasy. Great for the games. The games make it all easy, actually. Uh, so, sorry for picking on you there, but um, that's the truth of it. Anyway, guys, there's another one of uh, one question at a time. Thank you very much for checking in. We'll catch you next time.